Hi guys, it's Jamie with Jamie's Realistic Life. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Jamie. I'm 50 years old. And today's journey is to start cleaning with a person who has depression. And guys, don't judge. Please don't judge. I mean, you know, this is a hard video for me to, to do. But I wanted to show you what a depression person who has no motivation to get up and do anything in her house, but she goes and works nine straight hours or nine straight days at a job that she is trying to work to get money to pay bills. So by the time I get home with my back issues and everything, I just don't feel like doing anything. But today I've got to tackle my bathroom and like I said, don't judge. So we are going to step in here and there is clothes in the floor. The trash is running over. Uh, the sinks are dirty. Yeah, I got a bow in there for the cats to, you know, drink their water. That the mirrors, I know, don't look at me. I'm still on my, I'm in my nightgown and my pants. My, I had to put on my favorite pair of blue jeans to clean for some reason. My walls are dirty, the sinks are dirty, trash everywhere, the toilet needs to be clean, which the toilet ain't that bad, but you know, you got guys, a uh, husband in here who just destroys everything. And then over here is the bathtub that's not been cleaned in a while. And I need to tackle it. That's the trash can lid because it is just dirty, dusty, corroded. Yeah, I've got to replace the backing of the, the bathtub. Uh, water did get in, seep started breaking. So we're going to replace this bathtub with a walk-in tub because we're getting older and I'm getting scared of falling. So this bathtub, I mean, I'm going to clean it, but it is going to get replaced with a walk-in bathtub. And of course you can see the, uh, guys, look, I've got cobwebs. Look at those. Look at those cobwebs. They're horrible. You know, they're, they're just horrible. And I'm really ashamed that I let it go this long. But yeah, I thought I'd give you just a snapshot of the bathtub, the bathroom, and hopefully when I get done, it'll be an amazing transformation to what it was. So with that said, guys, I will see you in part two. Okay, guys, I know it probably doesn't look uh, spectacular. <laughs> this is just a quick clean of the bathroom. Uh, I'm not really worried too much about this room right now because, like I said, we are going to be replacing the tub. We'll probably just have to rip out everything because uh, about a year or so ago, the water, the water heater busted. And it is directly behind this wall here. 
so the water seeped down and it ruined the floor. I know this floor is going to have to be replaced because the toilet is sitting at an angle a little bit. So when we get the money saved up, we are actually going to rip out the tub. And uh, of course, you see, I did get it somewhat clean. Uh, we got hard water really bad. So if I had some CLR, I could probably got it all the way clean. This, you know, like I said, I sprayed it down and then I took water and throw it on it and let it run down to finish cleaning. And uh, I got all the shampoos and body washes. Girls, these right here are awesome. These are from the Dollar Tree. It has the uh, exfoliator and then it has the polishing on the bottom. Super good, smells sweet, a dollar and a quarter. And it's called like suntan preparation. So, you know, it's like if you're going to go to the beach, you can use that and get all the dead skin off. That way you'll have an even tan is what I was told that they were for. But they do really good on exfoliating the skin, the face, the feet, you know, just whatever you want to use it for. I do the hands and the legs because I have really bad dry legs because of the medicine. But yeah, and like I said, I'm really not too worried about this bathtub. I, I am going to take the shower curtain down and wash it. It is washable. And uh, I think I got it pretty much halfway decent. I did get the cobwebs down. Well, not all of them. I got some over here. But my little Swiffer thing that I use, I got it from um, Grove. It works really well. Uh, the toilet did come clean. I finally got it. The toilet lid needs to be changed. It was one that I had bought at Walmart about nine years ago. It needs to be changed. Of course, you can tell it's different color than what the toilet is. And yeah, we're just going to have to redo the whole bathroom. And when that project comes along, I will let you guys know. But like I said, guys, don't judge someone. Uh... They have got a lot of plate on, you know, a lot of stuff on their plate. And yes, I did use the pink stuff for the toilet cleaner. It works really well. And what you saw me spraying, I'll put it over here and I'll explain it to you. That is not Windex. <laughs> I know it says Windex, but it's not. It is 91% alcohol that you can get at the drugstore. Three drops of Dawn and the rest of it was water. So, and let me tell you, that is the best stuff to kill um, bacteria. You only need like 70% alcohol to be able to kill the alcohol or to kill the germs. But that is a homemade cleaner and it really works. It works great on glass, especially, I mean, look at my dirty walls. But it does really good on glass. That's what fell earlier. But yeah, guys, like I said, just a quick video, maybe something motion, you know, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, something to give you inspiration to know that you're not alone. If you're battling depression and stuff gets, you know, put off to the side because you just don't feel like doing it, it's okay. Really, it's okay. Just, you know, like today, I told myself, you are going to get up and you're going to clean that bathroom. That tub needs to be cleaned. I cannot stand a dirty tub. But my thing lately is I come in from work, I take my shower, I put on my night clothes and I go to bed. I'm just so exhausted and so wore out. So I just shut the shower curtain because I don't have to see it. And I thought, girl, if you don't get that clean, you're going to be, it's going to be h-e-l-l -L to get it done but with that said guys i hope this gives you some motivation to realize that hey i'm going to get up today and i'm going to do something and i'm i'm happy with the way it turned out i do live in a double wide i live in southwest virginia um most of the homes here are double wides the only affordable thing but i did get a, a acre and a half of land so that's that was the plus with the mobile home. But like I said, it's going to have to be redone. And probably my next video will be the bedroom. Because y'all think I was decorating for Halloween. 
if my mama was alive, she would kill me. <laughs> my mama was a neat freak. I used to be that way until the depression, the anxiety, and the PTSD hit, and then I just went, boop, don't care. But yeah, I mean, guys, it's okay. It's okay if you're struggling. Just know that you got somebody here that will talk to you if you need if you need somebody. I'm on Instagram. You can message me on Instagram. You can shoot me a message through Etsy. Or you can email me at Jamie's Realistic Life at gmail.com. I'll listen to you guys. So with that said, I'll see you later. And remember to always wear a smile because your smile can make somebody's day. Bye, guys.